everyone, this is Elias from RevMatch Media, and today we have a little bit of an announcement. So Chevy just announced the 2024 Silverado HD with a ZR2 package. And I was gonna kind of keep it as a one more thing at the end of the video, but I can't help it. They also have a Bison model. Well, let's get started. Now, the ZR2 is Chevy's off-road trim, and we have that in the Colorado, in the Silverado 1500, and now on the 2500 HD. Yeah, that completes the trifecta. <laughs> Hopefully it carries on to, you know, some SUVs would be nice to see in a ZR2 trim. So yeah, hear me out, Chevy, let's do it. But basically the 2500 HD ZR2, it's for people that, you know, you're t you towed during the week, you haul things during the week, and you want to tackle the trails on the weekend. And yeah, that's what ZR2 is going to be able to do. And it's going to be very well equipped to do basically all those three main things. And now let's talk about some of the similarities between the ZR2 and the other trims of the uh, Silverado 2500 HD. And now with the ZR2, we are going to see only in the crew cab configurations and standard bed configuration. So that's the only essentially shape that you can get it in. So no long bed, no single cab option. And it's mainly just because that's usually the one that Chevy sells the most. Uh, and as far as engines, that is still gonna stay the same. So we are still getting the 6.6 .6 liter V8 gas, as well as the Duramax 6.6 .6 liter V8 turbo diesel. Now I've driven the turbo diesel. That thing is a monster, but it's so smooth at power delivery. So I'm excited that it was still kept in the ZR2 option as well. And same thing with the V8. That V8 gas is incredible. Now, uh, as far as some of the differences we're going to see with ZR2, and we'll talk about the ZR2 first, and then we'll discuss some of the Bison kind of next level up kind of things. So with the ZR2, we're going to get a 35 inch uh, wheel and tire uh, size, and we're going to get the Goodyear Wrangler Territory multi-terrain uh, tire on the 18 by nine inch aluminum wheels. So a couple of things, the wheel looks awesome. Black, of course, my favorite. And the tire looks super aggressive. A nice, big, meaty tire. I'm excited to hopefully be able to take that guy out on the trails, um, but it's definitely a nice setup for that. As far as some outside looks to things with the ZR2, we are gonna get the flow tie, which is basically the Chevy bow tie front emblem. It's gonna be cut out. So instead of it being a solid bow tie, it's just cut out. And we get the always nice red recovery hooks, some of my favorites. And as far as kind of underneath, so what is gonna change with the ZR2 is basically suspension out. So we get uh, control arms. So we get specific control arms, front, upper and lower control arms. And we're also gonna get steering knuckles that are gonna be different. And they're just gonna be designed to take that off-road abuse. A little bit more than what you would in the normal Silverado uh, 2500 when you're just kind of towing or just putting a lot of weight to it. We're gonna, they're basically going to design it to, or have designed it to take that, you know, abuse that you get when you go off-roading. And with that, you have the Multimatic DSSV dampers, which looks so nice underneath. And they're gonna be obviously tuned for the additional weight that you get with the 2500. And that is going to equate to a 1.5 factory lift. So one and a half inch factory lift. And yeah, again, the whole thing with this is being ready right out of the dealership and ready to hit the trails as well as tow and haul all your gear. So definitely a nice thing to, to have that. Now, because it's gonna be possibly taking more abuse, we need to protect underneath. So the ZR2 is gonna have a larger steel transfer case skid plate, and it's also going to have a front aluminum skid plate. Now, as far as goodies, we're gonna get a rear e-locker. Yes, so no more the automatic locker, 
it's going to now, you're gonna be able to push a button and it's going to activate that rear uh, locker. Now, we were wondering why no locker in the front and yeah, that's because of a couple of things. The benefit you would really gain from a front locker uh, can be done in a different way. What I mean by that is the ZR2 is going to have a new off-road mode that is basically gonna take into account ABS brakes, traction control, stability control, throttle response, and transmission shifts, use all of those components, and essentially give you a pseudo front locker. And basically the benefits of doing it that way is you don't have to rework the whole geometry of the front, and you don't have an added weight to the front as well. Now, as far as the interior, couple of things are changing. The materials, the materials is the big thing where it's basically gonna be materials that are easier to clean because after all, Chevy said, yeah, this the user of the 2500HZ ZR2 is typically gonna be getting the truck dirtier, off-roading, mudding, that kind of stuff, and you'll want to be able to clean it a lot easier. So clean, easier materials to clean, and the wireless charger for your phone is gonna be a little bit different. Um, the picture they provided me with didn't quite show that as much. And uh, apparently the center console kind of area is gonna be a little reworked differently. But yeah, overall the, the look to it looks re really nice. You know, we have the big screens on there, which were, I was a huge fan of uh, in the 1500 that I got to review. The Silverado HD ZR2 Bison. Yes, this is taking the ZR2 and cranking it up to 11. It really is. Now, what's great about this is this is a collaboration between Chevy and American Expedition Vehicles, AEV. If you're not familiar with them, yeah, get familiar with them because they have some awesome, awesome builds. The ZR2 build that they did for the Colorado is just mean looking. It is incredible. I love how that thing looks. And yeah, they teamed up with Chevy and they basically set up the Bison uh, with them. And some of the things you'll get with the Bison, you're gonna get exclusive 18 inch AEV wheels and they look really nice. Again, with that meaty Goodyear Wrangler tire. And yeah, that wheel, again, black, love it. I'm excited, yeah, so that's how you'll be able to kind of differentiate, oh, this is a Bison compared to the regular, I guess, ZR2. And some of the things as well is the unique front bumper that the Bison will get, as well as the rear bumper. And they'll both have uh, integrated recovery points and the front is gonna have a winch provision, which is nice. It's nice, it's already set up for whatever winch you wanna go ahead and install in it. Now, that front bumper is really nice as well. It is gonna be a little bit on the shorter side or stubbier, so a little bit closer to the body of the truck uh, to help with approach angle. And I'll, don't worry, I'll include all that information as far as, you know, the uh, approach angle, departure angle, uh, you know, ride height, everything in the description because it's a lot of numbers and it's easier to just kind of see it in a list. So check out the description underneath. and. The awesome thing about the bumper is we do get kind of those wedges on the end to help tire hit first before the bumper hits first uh, in approach angle, which is awesome. That's what the Colorado ZR2, the ZR2 is a little bit more, the Colorado is a little bit more aggressive, but this still has, you know, just a higher uh, ride height. So it's easier to grab those tires first before the bumper hits. Now, the only thing I wish the bumper had red recovery hooks. Yes, I know, I know, small detail uh, compared to the ZR2, but it still looks nice. And again, that winch provision is nice, ready to go for you. My only kind of gripe is that rear bumper. I wish the rear bumper still had some form of cutout for you to be able to get into the bed from any corner of the truck. Now, the thing about it is, yes, you can still kind of use the bumper itself to get in, but with this being a 2500 and going even higher with that lift, yeah. <laughs> Again, that's kind of my only thing. I wish it's still, even the smallest little cutout going into it would have been nice to have. The next thing is protection. Underneath 
it's gonna take the protection even further. So with the Bison, you get still steel skid plates, and that's gonna be in the front, in the steering rack, exhaust, and transfer case. Yeah, that's pretty much everything that I can I can think of. So yeah, so it's gonna be significantly more protected um, because again, it's just the crank it up to 11 model. Now, as far as you know, when is this truck gonna be available? It is coming in Q3 of 2023, uh, and it's going to start production in the summer. And pricing, yes, we don't know yet what the pricing is. Uh, Chevy will be announcing it closer to production uh, for the ZR2 and Bison. Now, kind of my thoughts on it, I'm excited. This thing looks mean. Some of the pictures are just incredible. It looks, whoever was driving that and the photographer looked like they were just having a blast in those trucks. Now, what is Chevy going up against? Power Wagon and the, from Ram and the uh, Rebel now, Rebel on the HD or, or the 2500, Ram 2500 and the Tremor packages on the Super Duty of Ford. So yeah, um, which one would I go with? Yeah, I know this is a Chevy video and I would probably say Chevy because I really like that infotainment system. I love the power delivery of that diesel. Even though it's 900, over 900 pound feet of torque, it just delivers it so smoothly. The ride was really nice. And now that we get this ZR2 fun package, yeah, the fun ZR2 package and the Bison extremely fun package, I'm excited to get this and drive this and let you guys know what I what I feel and yeah, really what you feel because those are those trucks that you're gonna feel. You're gonna feel the fun in them. Well, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed my reveal of the 2024 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD in now ZR2 and Bison trim. And remember, find the right gear. Hope you enjoy this slideshow of some fun photos. See ya.